Welcome back, everybody, to the 2019 National College Dodgeball Championships. I'm joined with Jake Lesky, uh, actually the director of league expansion for the NCDA. Yep. Wow, what a great tournament we have today. It's been great. It's been very successful. We've had a lot of upsets. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. For anybody joining right now, um, we're actually got a great game coming up. We're going to have Miami versus Central Michigan. Yep. You were a Central Michigan player. I was. Um, this gets a little personal for you sometimes. You were bit. a two-time All-American. Yep. Um, catcher more than thrower. Correct. Um, talk yep. about uh, your style of gameplay and how that sort of made – that was a personal decision probably. You, you knew you got some hands. Uh, I mean, that was more – it wasn't more of a choice. I didn't really have a, I didn't have a choice. I mean, I couldn't really throw very hard. Okay, so, so there you go. So that's, that's the best thing I could do. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to see here is this is uh, C uh, yeah, CMU and Miami on their way to the championships, um, trying to take down again for everybody joining us just now, the reigning national champs, Grand yep. Valley. Yep. So, I mean, what's really fun about this game that we wanted on this court is uh, – this went into overtime yesterday, so we want to see what this will happen again, and uh, we're really excited to see the outcome. Yeah, we've got uh, Miami right now, ready, kind of ready on the baseline. Yep. Uh, CMU is still kind of warming up. I think they're they're keeping, just keeping it loose. Um, I've been talking to everybody about how they got into the sport. I mean, whenever you guys get involved, you also love it so much. You yep. sort of stay a, a legacy, whether it's in the administration or come back and visit. Yeah. Um, what was that like for you in college? How did you decide <coughs> to join dodgeball? How they how they pick you up, and how did you <laughs> how did you immediately kind of love the NCDA? Uh, I mean, it's super competitive. I mean, it's a good workout. I think the reason why I started to do it is I was in a fraternity. The fraternity no longer exists, and uh, <laughs> I needed something to do. Right. And I kept hearing about the club dodgeball team at Central Michigan. I mean, they were very successful, and I thought let's give it a shot. And yeah. Here I am now. No, great league. Again, yeah. I, I keep speaking about the integrity of the players. Um, this is going to be a great matchup. We were talking a little bit how they, they actually just met each other yes. and had a great competition. Can you speak a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah, so uh, Central went up 2-0, and then Miami tied it up 2-2, and then it went to overtime, and Central was able to win 3-2 in overtime. Uh, it was very it was a fun game to watch, and that's why we thought this is the game that we need to have in the main court. Um, this is great. So it looks like we're about to get started. We've got a captain's yep. meeting coming up right here. Um, so, again, anybody unfamiliar with NCDA uh, – Dodgeball, the rules are a little bit different um, yep. in terms of 25-minute uh, halves. Yep. Um, we've got. I mean, this is a long day of dodgeball for these for these for these players. Um, <coughs> it's all about maintaining, you know, maintaining your arms. Yes. Trying to stay positive. Trying yep. to stay mentally with it. Um, we saw la last game was amazing. Michigan State um, actually came o came over ahead on on Ohio, and again, what what a great tournament we've got going on. Absolutely. Uh, I think what's a lot of fun is uh, we've had a lot of upsets already. We already had uh, University of Maryland beat VCU, the sixth seed, 4-1. to one. So that was a big upset. Yeah, that was, that was They're very cool. happy to still be here. Um, so tell us a little bit more. What was this, what was this competition like um, yesterday when, they, when these two teams met? Uh, it was, I mean, it was very back and forth. Uh, I mean, Central had it really down, and then they kind of just let them come back. They've had that happen twice to them already. So um, I think it's Miami, I, in my opinion, has the momentum right now. Uh, but Central definitely should win this game. Yeah, and that's no point of bias at all. No bias whatsoever. No bias whatsoever. <laughs> Central Michigan. Now we see right now Miami's actually getting ready into their team huddle. Yep. They're super, super pumped. So this is the furthest they've ever been. So Miami actually well, went, to, they went to Funked back in, I think, 2012, 2013. And they came back about two years ago. So this is only their third wow. season. They're already in the quarterfinals. Okay. So this is their first appearance in the quarterfinals. They're very excited, and it is really – a big moment yeah, for this, this club. Yeah, this is getting me pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> they're ready to go. Because if they win this, they go to the semifinals and their club, this is their club's first quarterfinal appearance and their it would be their club's first ever Final Four appearance. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Now we've got on the other side of this, Central Michigan going to start they're to get, getting ready. get pumped up. They've got former captain, yeah, former, former MVP captain. Mike Riley pumping them up. Yeah, those are some arms. Mike, that was probably a big loss for the team, losing, losing him as a as a presence on the court. If you can, you can see there's a lot of alumni in there. <laughs> they have a lot of support. That's really great to <laughs> oh, see. that's great. I mean, that helps. That has to help for the team IQ. I mean, this, at this point, having the depth to be able to come back, work them through strategy. Absolutely. Um, and that's been the biggest point, I think, for some of the depth of this team. Yes. Is you don't just lose some of maybe your bigger players, your, your strongest throwers. It's about losing dodgeball intelligence. Correct. IQ is huge. Yeah. Knowing when, how, to, how to change the flow of a game through a timeout. Yep. Um, I mean, I've seen that be so critical with 
with people saving them from a kill because they called timeout right before a ball was thrown. Teams, of course, yep. they can't call timeout as the ball is being thrown, whether it's in the air, but right before they're getting chased down, make a quick timeout and they it's can smart. save themselves. Yeah. Yep. That actually happened in BGSU versus Towson yesterday. BGSU was about to get Towson out, and with one second left, they hit him, but the captain on the other team called timeout, yes, so the game I was saw over. That's right. I yes. saw that. That was incredible. Oh, yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so here goes CMU. They're getting wa wa uh, wound up right now. Former captain Mike Riley. I think they're waiting on a player. So just for any review um, for our viewers or people that are just joining, um, we kind of stepped into it. It's going to be 25-minute halves. Um, the whole point of dodgeball is to eliminate the other team. That is um, cool. <laughs> yep, that's the pretty simple premise. <laughs> but the, the difference here at uh, the NCDA um, league rules is that you keep playing point for point um, as you as you continue in the half. That's correct. Yeah, and so you just need to eliminate the team players. Yep. Um, and then you can, you know, we've been seeing, I think last game we saw a 3-0 deficit with about seven minutes to go in the, in the first half. Yes. And then Ohio came back, came back, got a point in at .05 seconds. Seconds, yes. Um, with like a corner shot. Yep. Um, and, and that, then was, they that was pretty incredible. Tied up 3-2, and then uh, fortunately Michigan State took the lead and went to 4-2, but it was a great game. Yeah, it was a great game. They were really, at least, at least Ohio made them earn it. Um, at some point here, we're going to cut back to a uh, the chart, uh, see how everybody else is advancing through the courts. So yes. We're on our way to seeing the next Grand Valley game, um, and this is this is this is going to be pretty great. Um, I'm excited for this game. We haven't. I'm Miami's really getting pumped up. Not Central sure what's Michigan. happening with Central. I think they're waiting on their captain. Their captain's not in the huddle. They're not sure what's going on. That's what it looks like. But while everybody's here on the baseline. You're gonna get um, you're gonna get some some pretty some more basic rules here. You know you've got these balls. Um, yes. It's all about who's gonna be blocking for their sort of their throwers yep. on the wings. Yep. Um, then it's all about also, and I'd love to get the camera in on us. It's all about pinching. Pinching. Yes. Right? So we're so the only we're the only league that pinches. Yeah. Yep. Right. And that's a big. I mean, this really affects the throw to really be able to grab onto the ball. Oh yeah. Um, and really throw it that you know as I've been learning it really you can get a good spin on the up it changes a, the game it really does I mean yes you get it adds a good five ten miles per hour as well easily yeah I mean again I keep highlighting this 60 70 mile an hour uh, speeds here at some point I'm gonna keep teasing at some point I'll get out there I'll maybe I'll let Jake throw a ball at me and <laughs> and uh, let's see if I can if I can hold my own maybe I'll get a ball to like block it but I actually I'm really curious what that's like for the players um, I mean, it stings. You get hit pretty good. It, it's, oh yeah, that's it hurts. We, I mean, we saw the ref get nailed uh, twice uh, last game. I almost game. got hit yesterday right in the head when I was ref. Oh yeah, yeah, this just close. <laughs> that close. Just yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be a quick lights out and then exactly recompose. Yes. yes. Well, excellent. Um, Looks like Central's starting to get wound up. Here they go. Excellent. Here we go. Miami getting pumped. Getting on the baseline. So what we're gonna see here is as these two teams start to gather themselves on the baseline. This is a big, this is a big, what are we at now? I mean, this has to this be. Is this is the quarterfinals. This is the quarterfinals. This is the quarterfinals. So when it goes on to the final four. Oh, we are hearing this. This, yeah, it goes on the final four. So what you're going to start to see, uh, these teams are going to line up on the baseline, and they're going to start getting ready for the rush. The initial rush is when both Central's teams. getting round up. Look oh, at them. here em. we go. Here they go. Both teams are going to run into the neutral zone, grab as many balls, throw as many balls back as they can. You yep. might see some tags from that. Oh, I got the um, chills watching exactly. that. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, I didn't even play dodgeball, and every time I'm seeing guys <laughs> get riled up, it's like, okay, yeah, here we it's go. It's raw emotion. Yeah, it is. It's raw emotion. A lot goes into being here, a lot of practice. A lot of these teams have flown from around the country. Oh, absolutely. Some of these Maryland people, you know, they've driven 11 hours to be here, and so... <laughs> Um, yep. Looks like we're about to get started. Here we go at the baseline. So we are ready to go. Everybody's lined up at the baseline. Again, for those of us just joining, you're, you're tuning into the 2019 National Dodgeball Championships here at Grand Valley State. We're about to see these two teams rush from the rush from the baseline. I mean, the ball control is huge, uh, especially for most of these, especially Miami that tries to focus on ball control. That is, uh, this opening rush is everything. Here we go. Look, here we go. So we're going to see some probably some some minor throws um, here. Oh, First nice tag. Dive. Oh, that was a tag. He got him. Got yep. him on the foot. You're quicker on the call than I am on that one. That one's. 
All right, so you'll see uh, Tom Moran, number 12, the captain for Miami. He'll oh, be making nice, most of the throws nice for them. Nice dodge from Miami. He'll also be the main target for Central to get out. So anybody just joining us, too, you're going to see the flow of this game really depends on the push and pull of who has to make a, a, a throw yes. to stay within their shot clock violation territory. Yes. And then... And, and then it which, has to be close. And it has to right. And then we've gotten, as, as a league, we've gotten more and more um, strict about it being a, an accessible ball that you can actually make right. a play on. Yep. So accessible ball means these teams have to come in and make a throw that can be make, actually ma be able to make a play on. Correct. So whether you're diving for it, whether you're stretching, correct. it has to be within sort of the field of play for a player. Yes. Um, so right now you're seeing Central Michigan sort of hold Miami down a little bit. Yeah, Central's got yeah. ball control right now. Yeah, Central's definitely got the neutral zone controlling it. They're going to backpedal a little bit, let Miami come into the neutral zone so they can maybe make a play. This is a big game for Central. So they lost in overtime to VCU, which was a huge upset for them yesterday. Yeah. So they have a lot to prove today because most people do not think they're going to win this game. Even though, relatively speaking, they should. All right, we got Tom Moran with another burn. Playing smart in the corner. We only got still ball control for Central with seven balls. Nice block. By Tom Moran again. As I said, he'll be the main target for them. Austin Briggy for Central, making a lot of throws for them, which is very important. Red Central right. backing up. Here we go. Miami on the, oh. Now what happens there? We had, we had a player, number three. Um, Austin Briggy. Yeah. He's the captain He's for the CMU. captain for CMU. Um, he almost he almost lost the ball when he got it, when it hit. What would happen in that in that instance out. where he loses? He is out. Okay, yes. so if a ball's getting hits out hits out of his hands, he's out. Oh, correct. Right. Yep, that the player was already out on Miami. That was. Yep. So throw to catch, uh, number eighty five on Central Michigan. He's a first year player, but he's a senior, so this is his only appearance. Uh, his name is Scott and Oh, that was a good get. I think that was number nine on Miami. Yep. Um, that was Ethan Euler. That was a great get. That's that's gonna. Ooh, again, great Kyle dodge Garner. too. Yep, Kyle Garner with the throw. Number eight, Kevin Kuroda seems like kind of a power thrower right there. Yep, definitely advancing in. He's also got the knee pads on, which means he's probably a good, good drop catcher, good the, dodger. The most important aspect for Central in this game is number three, Austin Briggy. If he gets out, this team often falls apart. Really. And you'll see him. He stays in the middle of the court the entire game. Just sort of commands commands a presence center yep. center stage. That is so important. I mean, for a lot of these big players, is that's how they command the flow and, and sort of guide the confidence of their team is remaining sort of center. Whoa, nice Missed him. cross court throw. Here's some good action, Austin. Yeah, Bring it with the kill. Again, I mean, this is. Yeah, we had number eight, Kevin Carotis, try to get a cross court kill on on. I think it was number 19 on, on CMU. Kyle Garner. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Okay. So we've got number number eight here on Miami's got an he arm. He is feeling it right yeah, now. Yeah, he is really hot. Both teams are really pushing the tempo, which is what they got to do. Here we go. Miami on the advance. Oof. Number eight's got to be careful. And again, yeah, he's throwing a lot of throwing a lot of a lot of heat. But what I uh, what again what I love about this gameplay is. You know, you've got another player next to him, I think zero. Uh, might be Will McKnight. Number 12 with a great block, Juwanza Edwards. Nice. First year player. Yeah, number eight is, is sort of looks like he's set to guard, or number zero is set to guard number eight, and so he'll actually be a blocker um, when eight's going up to make a throw. Correct. I mean, that's, that's basic so clutch. dodge. I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's Blocking's everything. I mean, you, teams that don't block well usually don't play well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really that simple. You'll just get cut down. Every time. I'm hoping to see a few face shots. I've not seen many today. Ooh, that that looked close. That looked really Ruff close. Ref said nope. Yeah. Ref said no call. All right. Number eight. Yeah, somebody with a cannon like number eight. We're hoping to get some get laid out here. <laughs> <laughs> Both teams In a even great, right now. Non-harmful way. Just, Correct. Yes. Ooh, nice throw. Okay, we got. Wow, that was a nice slide. Nice slide by our, 99. Yeah, Miami coming. I did in not see that coming. <laughs> That's fantastic. Here we go, Stafford. Oh, oh he dropped oh, it. Number 11. Catch. And another catch. Wow, team catch. That was great. Juwanza Edwards with a catch and number five. Wow, Stafford stays in. Yes. For Central Should have Michigan. been a catch. Yep, number one, uh, Jared Brown. Wow. 
Wow, Miami holding strong. Yes, they are. They feel very confident going into this 19 game. Got him. 19 They're minutes. Still in. In. 19 minutes, 30 seconds in the first half of this Miami Central Michigan game. And it's pretty even. Both pretty teams, even. Both yeah. teams I mean, have three players out, uh, both with nine on the court right what's now. So, I mean, with even. Whoa. That, that was, was close. close for that Austin Briggy. Really Should have been for out. Briggy. Yeah, he might have gotten his hand on that one. But. What is amazing is even if it's not even player-wise, what's so key sometimes is just the attitude and just Correct. the confidence. Correct. You might be two men down. Um, you make one good catch. Oh, that was a hit. He's not going out though, unfortunately. It's hard as a ref to always see everything. Yeah. It really is. And I get sometimes too, I mean, he may not have honestly even thought he was out. He might have thought it was a ricochet. Wow, or, Stafford, wow. I've never seen him play like this before. This wow, is impressive. This is, yeah, this is him showing up to the big Well, hey, they right lose, now. they're done. And this would That's, be the first. This would so we got number five, Stafford here, who's, who's making plays that, you know, uh, do you know, do you know what sort of his year? This is his second year. Second year, okay, so he's coming into his own so as this a sophomore. Would, if this loss happened for Central, this would be the first time they didn't make it to the championship in over five years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Central Michigan has uh, tried to come in for five years now, four years now, yep, and trying to get that that championship. But so have the they made it? Have they made it to the championship? So four years. This is the f for the past four seasons. They Grand Valley and Central have met each other in the national championship. Okay, wow. Yep. Grand Valley, unfortunately, winning. All yep, four all, of all four of those. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Grand Valley is the reigning national champ. They have a significant portion of the yes. wins in this uh, championship wins in this league. They're currently undefeated um, for this season. Yes, they are. And, you know, it'd be really interesting if a team uh, steps up and changes that outcome yes. today. Uh, so this is much faster pace than I was expecting. I was expecting most teams to play much slower, but so far so. Yeah, it, I honestly, it feels. Go, Kyle. It's looking for it. Number 19. Seems like it's, they're trying to feel each other out here. They're, I mean, they're throwing. Catch, oh, Tom wow, Moran. Catch. What a great catch. Again, so what's so key about what. Oh, we got yeah, a time. We got to stop. We got, we got stop. We got staff meeting. There's an issue with uh, whether a catch was made or if it hit the ground. Well, either way, what's so key about Tom Moran's catch, uh, captain of Miami, number 17, is he he kept one point of contact within the court. That's that all was, that matters. And that's yep. all that matters. I mean, you can make a dodge, you can make a catch, no matter what. I've seen players do the back pedal, run back, jump out out of bounds to try to get to dodge a throw, but keep <laughs> fingers in. That's all you got to do. Yeah, keep fingers you in gotta the court, do. and they're good. That's I mean, what I love the aspect of this game is that you're able to do that. It's actually, I, it is, I totally understand. It is surprisingly hard to hit somebody while they're backpedaled sliding and keeping sort of their surface area low. Absolutely. Yeah. So Miami has the advantage right now. They Here have we go. Central uh, yep. Michigan advancing. Yep. Miami with 10 players in Central with eight. And it, the confidence of Central Michigan, you would not think that there would be an advantage here, but yes. Here we go. So Miami players immediately dropping down, backpedaling for oh. Central Michigan. Here we go, advancing. It, and again, I love the, the, the flow of the game is all guided by this shot, shot clock violation. Yes. And yes, we can whoa. talk a little more about that. So if you don't make a close throw or you don't get yeah a throw oh. off, I don't know, was that an out? They're saying it was on the ground. Yep. Okay, Juwanza okay. Edwards is still yeah, saying number 12. Of course he's going to say that. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't go anywhere near me. Uh, but if you don't get a, within 15 shot clock, if you don't get within um, that time limit, you lose all the balls. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's often a killer for most teams. That's been critical for a lot, of these, a lot of these plays that we've been watching today. Here we go. Edwards. The, the big, the big. Number 12 trying to make a play. Absolutely. They like said if Miami, if, if Tom Moran, their captain, gets out, they usually collapse similar to... Uh, Central with Austin Briggs, their captain. Okay, here we go. Miami stepping forward. <coughs> Got to make that throw within the shot clock time. Central with the ball advantage. All right, Miami, what do you got? Oh, that was an attempt at a drop catch from, oh, from Garner that was 19. Block. Nice block, Miami. It's a well up. played game right now. Very, Very well back played. and forth. Yep. No, okay, so. The reason why they had to throw again is Tom threw a ball, number 12, that was not oh. in. Oh, oh. There, he's out. They're calling him out. Number 15 yeah, for number Miami. 15. He, he made an effort on it, but, yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, like you said, he, hey, I'm not I out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Because that would have been from Breggy, actually, that throw. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Breggy's so the would, catalyst for this team. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. The big, like I said, the big thing, they may not, Miami may have the numbers, but Central has the ball advantage, and they're playing it very well. Yep. Here we go. Big team throw here. They got oh, Tom Moran out. out. Yep, Tom Moran out. Number 17, Eric Nelson, Moran. with the kill on Tom Moran, the captain of Miami. Tom Moran. That was a big get in the corner there. So we'll see how Miami does now without both their assistants. Both, both, all three captains are out for Miami. Yeah, I mean, really, what what Central Michigan's doing here so well is commanding the ball. And oh. a huge catch by number eight, Kevin Carotis. Yes, yes. Kevin he's Carotis. been on. Yes. He has been on. Here he goes. He's taking his. Oh, Whoa, what a catch! What a catch! Wow. That was a swing. By Austin Grignard. What a, it was a one-handed catch. That was a one-handed like. catch against his, and then somehow balanced it out on his elbow. <laughs> that I mean, was that impressive. Was, that was impressive. Great play. The Number reps 20. are talking to us. 41 seconds. They want us to put time back on the clock. So right now we're 14. All right. Oh, there we go. 14 minutes, 40, 41 seconds back into the first half for Miami and Central Michigan. So wow, both, that was a both great teams catch. are regrouping. Yes. Um, now, is this a timeout call? This, is a, this is a referee uh, time, time of play. I, there may okay. have been a timeout, but they didn't signal it. Got it. Um, so they're just adjusting. It's not supposed to be a timeout, but right. that's what they're both wisely using right now. Yeah. Um, regroup, sort of get the strategy go. Uh, we've got, again, our, our former team captain, um, now team coach, um, number 11. And former MVP last season. Former MVP last season. Um, Mike Riley. Talking, Mike Riley talking to CMU. Yep. And Miami, ready to go. I really can't feel out. I mean, I, I really feel like it's pretty even. It's numbers, pretty even. Numbers-wise, actually, numbers-wise, it is even. It is even, um, but like I said, Central has yeah. the advantage with ball control. Miami only having one ball. And only 10 minutes lapsed so far in this first half. Yes. Um, I mean, I've seen a range of scores in a first half. I mean, we saw four points um, for yeah. one of our earlier games, and then now it's 0-0 zero, zero so far. So this is going to be, this seems like this is going to be pretty big. This first yes. point is really going to command command the lead. Yes. Um, so the big thing that a lot of people don't, <clears throat> don't really realize is it takes a lot of endurance to be able to play this, especially in a game yeah. like this. I mean, I know me personally, I'd be exhausted. <laughs> so I'm glad they're on the corner. You're, are now. you out of dodgeball shape now? Uh, you, still, you still got it a little been bit? Been to, yes. <laughs> okay, depends, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it is pretty incredible to, to keep the advance, the back, the back pedal, Absolutely. and then advance again. And what, I mean, what is that, 30 yards from the baseline to the, so? the end of the neutral zone? So here we go, central up on the throw line. Here we go. Burning the ball up, oh, Miami. He's got to throw the last, last ball. Austin Briggy. Oh, Ooh. Austin Briggy Close throwing throw with his too. whole body. Oh, absolutely. I love that. Who's who's who? Do we have number two here on number on two? We have uh, Caleb Frank. Yeah, clearly, he is his role is he's got he's, he's, he's the ball keep, shagger. Yeah, he's <laughs> got to keep feeding Austin. Yeah. <laughs> I think he enjoys it. Whoa, that was just some throws. Okay. I yep, mean, this so is where this is where it gets interesting because players are going to really start to throw some heat. I don't think yes. I was seeing. You know, really, people give it their all early in the games. Well, now they can. I mean, Miami only has two balls, so they can really. Oh, oh that nice was right kill. To the Austin face. Briggy and Jawanza Edwards on a team throw, number 12 and number three. Nice, nice block. Again, Central with the ball advantage. Okay, so again, Central, yeah, Central with the ball advantage, people advantage. Kind of, I mean, I'm feeling confident here with, with Central Michigan. Oh. I really, they're commanding. Whoa. And just like that, number 20, spoke too soon. Austin Grignard out. We got two number 20s, Josh Radzinski and Austin Grignard. Miami down two, seven players. Two right. more and then they're on the 10 count. So Miami having a CMU with ball eight. deficit right now as, as CMU commands. St still with the ball advantage. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, in the kill. Austin Briggy, now, number three. I would think that being in the corner would feel like I'm being trapped. I disagree. Some players like it. Yeah, See, I, I mean, like it. I'm wrong. I mean, I don't play <laughs> dodgeball. So this it all is, depends on your yes. on your preference. I mean, I personally enjoy it. Nice oh, catch. Nice catch. Number 19. Kyle Garner. Wow. Caught a number that was number Maxwell, 80. 80. Okay, so Miami. after this throw, Miami will be down to a 10 count. Yes. So they. All right. So now Miami now down to a 10 count wow. with only four players. Miami down to a 10 count shot clock, which means they've got to get the ball off, which puts them in. Another catch by yeah, Kyle Garner. Puts it in risky territory. 
This is Kyle's last three. last year also. and number three, Austin Briggs. So this is big for them. Oh, no, another kill. Another kill for CMU. Miami down to two. You know, this is CMU, the, so the, the perennial Cinderella story. This is them <laughs> trying to make it to the finals. I don't think most people would call us a Cinderella look, story. I, I want people, them to get a championship. They hey, haven't gotten the championship hey, yet. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, me personally, I lost the national championship <laughs> twice. So that would make me, I'd probably cry, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right, one left for Miami. Catch oh, by Juwanza nice Edwards, that's the wow. point for CMU. That's it, that's the point. 12 they are, minutes. They have all the momentum right now. 12 minutes left in this first half. That was a time, 13 minutes elapsed on that clock. That was a long point. Yes, it was. Um, but, you know, only half the clock. So you, we could feasibly see another point in here. Um, Ooh, I'm getting the chills already. Yeah. I, <laughs> This is, uh, this is going to get really intense as, as we start getting down into these finals. So, yeah, remember, this game w did go into overtime uh, on Saturday. So each team, right now you're seeing each team gather in their huddle. Hopefully, uh, here you go. We're going to cut to, yeah, number 11. Coach Riley. Coach Riley. Getting the, getting the team pumped up, talking about strategy. I think it's hard for him not to be playing right now. Yeah, I bet. I, mean, that's, <laughs> I totally understand that. He it wants, is hard. He this wants to be fun. able to impact and, yeah. I um, mean, it's, it's you miss it. That's why I enjoy still being a part of our um, Miami executive board. Yeah, exactly. You really do miss it. Miami taking what seems to be a different tone in, the, in their team huddle, getting the cheer ready to go, but definitely sort of instructional on, hey, what can we do better? Um, Great playing, though, honestly, by both teams. That yes. Was, that was back and forth. Like I said, I th really think the difference maker there was um, the ball control for Central Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, that's what that's so, that's sort catches. of tilted it in their favor. Absolutely. Yeah. And like I said, once they eliminated uh, Miami's captain, Tom Moran, I really feel like it goes downhill after that. Yes. Well, Tom, again, it's it's Tom, Many believe time him. hiding in that corner that I say hiding. That might be – that's the strategic <laughs> position. Fair enough. Well. It all just like said, it all depends on your preference. That's true. That's true. Um, many believe Tom Moran is the most valuable player this year. Uh, he may not be the best player, but he's the most valuable to his team. Okay. Okay. It's all how you determine it. Yeah. Um, I personally don't believe that, team. but I, he is very valuable to them. Where does Austin uh, bring He's definitely – many view him as a top five player in the okay. league as well. So that was Austin Brady, number three on CMU, and yep. Tom Morand on, on Miami. Those are the two to watch, Those really. Those are the two to watch in this game. I was Although we've got some great players, some great some great depth here. Um, here we go. Whoa. Oh, close. Keeping it Going close. For the cross yep. at Tom. We've got Miami, who is teetering on not keeping a point of contact within gameplay, which would have resulted in him being out. Miami advancing into the neutral zone to actually – to see what they can do here. Now, again, I think what I showed our viewers before is this this ability to pinch the ball and throw it as hard as you can. Nice block by nice Casey block. Buick, number 10, and Kyle stands. Garner. That's what Miami can't keep doing. They're wasting their balls on dumb throws. Yep. What happened? Ball's over. Well, that was a killer for Central. So Central did wow. not throw their balls, and the shot that's, clock that, was up. That's that, a communication error on the that, team. And that may just get Miami this point. Yeah. So what, what you're going to see now is uh, – Central Michigan has to return to their baseline, forfeit all their balls over to Miami. And they had ball control, too. And they had ball control. So definitely a swing in the in the play. Uh, Miami's going to actually now run from the baseline. I'm hoping to see as they run up, they take advantage, do some team throws. They're going to go after – my guess is they'll go after Austin Briggy number three for CMU. Okay. There we go. Let's see. So Austin Briggy center court for CMU. We're going to see Miami potentially try to just gun them down. Here we go. Let's see what happens. So yeah, they're blocking for Austin Briggy, as you can see. All right, here we go. Strategy. I like it. Boom. And number two. Dan yeah, we're going to get a lot. Number two, Caleb Frank taking the beating. Okay. For what we captain. talked about, number two. Taking six balls. Yes. You can see him. He's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> number two, taking the hit for the team. He's the one shagging balls for Briggy. Coach going up to say, nice job. Good for him. <laughs> what a team player. This is exactly what they needed for the team. All right. Number eight, Kurotis, really pushing in. We know he's got a cannon on him. He's probably looking right at Briggy, ready for him to take that throw, and then he's going to take advantage. Ooh, nice hit. That was a great hit. Jared number one, Brown. Number one, Jared Brown. Oh. Whoa. Number 80, almost going to kill on Casey almost Beeler. Getting, we're still, 10. you know, I hate to say it, we're still waiting for that. Uh, oh. Still waiting for that headshot. Absolutely. And I'm. <laughs> hope it comes soon. Yeah. As the groans go from the crowd, oh! Because people, we, again, we nice. saw one on a ref, so doesn't doesn't quite count. 
Miami still with the ball advantage as they should from that ball's over. Here we go. All right, back Very ballsy by okay, here we Casey go. Bailey, Austin Briggy advancing. Miami able to hold off the advance from CMU as they come back into the neutral zone, try to make a play. I mean, I want to see some team throws here. How do, why does that not happen as often as I think it, I, it should? You, that's, you sound like everybody else okay. that's watching from the sidelines. Why okay. isn't that happening more <laughs> often? Uh, honestly, I mean, it's the most su proven success Whoa, rate. Bryce Brown with out. another Bryce kill. Brown. Jared yeah. Brown. Jared Brown, my apologies. Jared Brown getting out. Number 66, Rob Hartman. Tried to stay in there, keeping one point of contact with his, sto as his toes little. as he dove for the his, his deflected ball. All right, here we go. Miami again, throwing it. Oh, that was almost a hit on Austin Briggy. Yep, able to deflect it. He knows he's the he's yeah, the focal he point. He, he knows, knows it's coming the, at him. And look, he's putting himself in that territory. He's taking he, center stage. Exactly. Center. Here we go. The advance. CMU. CMU coming burning in. the ball. And again, I'm keeping my eyes on Kevin Carotis here. Yes. Um, he's, he's a great you know, so far. Yeah, you know he's looking at Briggy. He hasn't thrown the ball yet. He's, he's eyeing he's, him. He's on, he is. He's eyeing him the whole time. Great block. So ball control five to five right now. Oscar Briggy looking for the drop catch. Here we go. Garner having a great game so far. Whoa, he's throwing some heat. Number 10, Casey Bailey. But yeah, team throws. I mean, you <laughs> think it would happen more often. It's much, far yeah. much more success yeah. than single throwing. I mean, uh, my favorite throw so far, I think, came in a very clutch moment. There was a team throw with a trail, a trail ball at the end. And MSU Ohio? I think it was MSU yes. Ohio, yeah. And came with a trail. I think it was, uh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one, too, because I know Austin, I think I'm thinking of Austin Pfeiffer's throw earlier. Um, he had a great trail throw in there that really turned the, tilted the game in their favor. Yeah, Austin Pfeiffer's a good player. And now I think our ref. Correct. Okay. <laughs> that was in the first game. Uh, that was Akron the first game. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's yep. right. All right, here we go. CMU advancing. I'm hoping. I'm still not seeing these team throws. Nice catch, nice Kyle Garner catch, again. Though. Great drop Number catch 19. From, from 19 Gardner. He's feeling it. Yeah, he really is. Last, you know, last hurrah this year. So this yeah, is it. Yeah, you lose, you're done. You win, you keep playing. And he wants to bring home that championship for CMU. Miami, Kevin Carota is coming in. Nice catch, Juwan oh. Edwards, number 12, man. Both wow, him and Garner are feeling it. That's a big turn of events for Great. Miami. Kevin Carota threw the catch. Kevin Carota, he was eyeing Austin that whole time. Ended up trying to make a throw. Here we go, Miami stepping forward. Oh, oh he, whoa, oh, throw. he nice. missed the oh, oh, Austin Briggy, yeah, they took that shot. Wow. Wow. Almost getting Austin out. You see the team, though, step up immediately to try to guard Austin. <laughs> they can't let him get out. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like they knew we got to protect the – Our best player? Yeah. Uh, but it was Jared Brown really missed number one, missing that wide open kill and the catch. So, again, I, I, I think I didn't finish my thought before on the pinch throw. This is where – this can be so clutch for a player who's coming in on the side, might be making a cross shot, and can really curve a ball and hit a player that was not expecting to get hit at all. I mean, yeah, that's what's so fun about it. I mean, you can be on one side of the court and be able to throw a curve all the way to the other side. And uh, you see it very 65 often. 65 mile an hour curve dodge Oh, ball. yeah. Oh, went for the stretch. I think that that's our, yeah, our guy number play. 20. Number 20, uh, we got uh, Austin Grignan. I hope they call him Griggs. He seems like he'd be a Griggs. <laughs> Number 20. Yeah, he definitely gives up that vibe. <laughs> oh. oh, nice dodge. Here we go. Miami following up. Nice block. Nice block with Austin. Whoa, great dodge by 15 on Miami. Yeah, see, they're going in front of Austin. Yeah, That's going their last in front of ball, Austin. though. They have no ball. There they go again, trying to shield them. Number two yep, back so in. Us, number two back in, just <laughs> oh, ready to take it. Anything for, for this that, team lead. Now I see why he's in. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, right? So he's just ready to take the hit for his captain. Wow, look at him. So, yep, Central with that ball in the middle they can't get to. They got one ball. Caleb Frank. Oh, Juwanza Edwards thinking about it, number 12. Oh, it's amazing Central's how, it's struggling amazing right how the, two yeah, balls. Yeah, really, that, how the gameplay has changed with no balls. They're fully defensive. Well, then you got the confidence of Austin right here. As soon as he gets a ball in his hands, he can. I have a bad feeling right here for Austin. Hopefully All right, here we go. Out. Come on. Okay, they don't go at him. Central with three balls. They're hoping to get that red ball right up in their main area. 
Oh, oh what a kill. Wow, what a kill. I don't get. think that was right intended. Chip, that was not at all. <laughs> he was clearly going for number 15. Yep, ducked. Yeah, yeah right number 15, chest. Austin Michael, captain of Miami, taking center, center court there and dodged the ball, ended up hitting number 99. Yep. Right in the chest. All right, we got Central advancing. They'll probably burn one is my guess, and then go back, yep. All right, we got Miami with seven players, but they still got their best player, Tom Moran, in. Central, we got uh, about 10. Definitely with the man advantage. We got about less than five minutes left in this match. I could see this definitely going, no one scoring. But we'll see, we a lot of time left. So why is Tom Moran holding back? Oh! Oh, almost got Number it. Number 11. Number 11. Henry Ferguson. I missed that play, actually. Was he running back, backpedaling, yeah. and he got hit? Okay. And then he almost caught it, too. And then he almost caught it, okay. So Central needs to get one more player out for Miami to get him down to a 10 count, which would be huge. And then they can really speed the game up. Oh, 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 oh there we go. Okay, wow, so that was so a team catch. What we just saw there was a team catch. That meant CMU didn't lose a player, but Miami gained a player. So hit off one guy, a different guy catches him. Yep. Deflected off one. Teammate drops whatever they're doing. I was, I was talking to you guys about that this. That was huge for me. Yeah, head. sometimes you don't know where that ball is coming from, but instinct kind of takes over, and you yes. just you go for that ball to try to save a teammate. You got two balls for CMU. Eight for Miami. Oh! Another kill. Another kill. Casey Bielek, he's on fire right now, number 10. Yeah, that was oh. number 21. Jonathan Lukey. All right, Central needs to get them down to one more player. Hopefully no more team catches. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we're getting a team throw. Well, I don't know if Miami likes to do team throws, to be honest. From yeah, what clearly seen. it's not their strategy. They're trying to snipe. I mean, they're just except trying to. Except when they're throwing at Austin. Right, about, except when they want to throw at Austin. Got oh! Him. Got him. He got him. You can hear the wow, cheers from that's Miami. A, that's a big call. <laughs> Big so, cheers from Miami in the crowd and going wild. That's what Miami was waiting for, to get Austin Briggy. Oh! oh! Okay, so now with one more throw, Miami will be down to the 10 count. Now Miami's at the 10 count, but they still have Tom Moran in. Oh. Timeout time Miami. Out. Okay, timeout Miami. I thought that was a shot clock violation for it a second. It looked like yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, that's going to change the dynamic of... Well, we got Frank here. He's trying to make a point to the refs. 239. 2.39. 2.39 on the clock. Wow, 239 left in the first half. So Miami down to five players. Um, Central without their best player. You could hear the cheers from the crowd even in the Miami bench. I mean, it really, Central is not the same team when he's not on the court. Uh, but Miami definitely down. Now they got a 10 second shot clock. So that really does ch speed things up. That will. That's And again, for anybody who's just learning the rules to NCDA um, league play, the five second shot clock happens when you've got five players. Left. Ten second shot clock. Sorry, sorry, jeez. So oh my you're gosh. Good, you're good. Five seconds. The ten that second. Five would be yeah, a little. Five would be unbearable. A little much. Ten yeah. second. You got your ten second shot clock, which again forces the flow. Makes it makes Miami think. Well, it speeds the game up, but it really, I mean, it puts you at a disadvantage. Right. Because you're constantly having to think about where you're going to put that ball. And the um, other team's only going to throw every 15 seconds right. or every 10. Well, and I think what what's been amazing to see with these shot clock pressure throws is you don't see the players totally committed to their throw, so that can sometimes mean yeah. a catch uh, from CMU in this case, um, where CMU might be able to catch a ball that was just kind of offhandedly thrown to satisfy the shot clock violation. Again, Coach Riley going through strategy with Central Michigan. So Central's only got, I believe, one ball. That, so that going to a 10 second shot clock for Miami will be helpful, but they're still at a big disadvantage. They might not be able to dictate the tempo that they want to get this point four times up. So, yeah, if, if, if there's still players on the court, you do not get the point if time runs out. So even in this case, though, I mean, now we've got 2 minutes 39 seconds in the end of this first half. You're playing against the clock now, too. So you might have Miami. If Miami can hold on for another 2 minutes 30 seconds, they could actually not relinquish a point. Which and is probably what they're going to go for. Which is probably what they're going to go for, especially if they – but, I mean, now it's, it's kind of weird. Central's only Central, got one ball. Yeah, Central Michigan's only got one ball. They've got a lot of players left. <laughs> Look at Miami. Miami's holding on to... Tom Moran staying back. All right, here he goes. All right, they're advancing. They've Let's got see if they actually decide to throw a team throw. 
Oh, oh number five. Big get. Number Doesn't, five, Stafford tried to stretch for that. Miami might go for this point. We'll see. Uh, I mean, why not go for it? I mean, this is. Say Miami just burning one. They might just. I mean, be they're probably looking at number twelve, right? Yeah, he's he's been sort of he's been. Yeah, Juwan Edwards. He's been a huge catcher for them today. Wow, we got a lot of chatter going on. It's a lot of strategy right now. They've got to stay within their shot clock. Miami th throwing two now. Central with three balls. Okay, That's big Central with three, ball, three balls. They're going to advance here into the neutral yeah, zone. Yeah, it looks like Miami's just trying to pull out this, yeah. pull out to stay till the end. So we're going for the safe blocks here. Nobody's, whoa. That's that sure what happened. Yeah, there. that was. A <laughs> here we go. Wow, okay, really throwing heat. Here we go. Central Michigan advancing, staying yep. into the neutral zone. Still yeah, up there. Less than a minute seconds. 30. Yeah, less than a minute 30. Still up there. 15 si Six, five, four. All right, we've got some shot clock that needs to. Wow, it seemed like there was a Another little. Another kill right there. Miami down to four. Miami oh, down to three. Why Miami down to three. That's going to hurt. Now, again, this is where they will. They're going to need to just stay in the game here. Um, Oh, uh, frankly, I don't know the what kill. they're thinking making these throws. They've they've got to hold on for 54 seconds, and then it's it's not yeah. So they should just stay alive <laughs> at this point. Well, they're gonna try to burn it right here. They might throw a catch right here. Oh, that was a great play. But why are they trying to throw here when they could just try to guard it out? Because they got a, they got the shot. Are they still, I, well, other than it didn't seem like they were under shot got pressure. They were just going for it. All right, here we go. Looks like Miami's gonna hold this out. Yeah, Miami's gonna left. hold this out. 30 seconds left to go. So again, if Miami, even though they're they're down a significant amount of players, if Miami holds off Central Michigan, there is, oh, he almost lost the ball. He's now burn one. it. Yep. Um, <laughs> if time out. Time out taken. Time 16 out seconds left to go. So clock's still running. Probably add two seconds. Okay, one seven point two. One seven point two. Seventeen seconds. Gonna get put back on the clock. Seventeen seconds. 17.2 going to get put back. Um, this is big. So this is a reset. I actually am unsure who took the timeout. Uh, uh, Miami. Probably Miami. Okay. I mean, they burned two already, I believe. Okay. What's the strategy here on, though, on – I didn't see a, a particular advantage, though. So it's like I would have rather had the time run out. For Central or for Miami? For Miami to try to run the timeout. You're, you're holding your own. It looks like – I mean, honestly, we're still with Tom Moran, and I'm sure they're fine with what they're doing. Uh, but definitely looked, it looked so uh, scary for a second. And do we see this strategy happen again? Number seven here on Miami. He's putting a ball in front of him. Yes. Is this kind of, this is Casey Casey Cowell, yep. captain on Miami. It looks like he's putting a ball in front of him. He's going to be in the corner. Oh, just two. I mean, we also have number 41 creating yep, so the So they're little just trying to hold it out to the end. They don't want to lose. I mean, they also have the balls. Central only has one. It's a very, most more than likely that so they're going to pull this out. Cameron Perokta here in the corner is creating this little wall. And Central is going to put all their players up to the throw line so they here can try we go. to get a catch. Try to get – Oh, try to Paul pop. Pop ball. That's a pop ball. So I feel like they should stop game Central's play, got right? no ball. I mean, they should, but I think they're letting them play since it's about to be done. Yeah. So the right, so time runs time. out. Usually during the game play, a pop ball would result in a pause of the game play, get another ball in there. But we just saw the time run out. Great end of the half yeah. for, for Ohio – Oh, for sorry, Central Michigan and Miami. Yes. Um, so center with the advantage, but I mean Miami just needs one good point. And it's tied back up. Yep. Yeah. This is this is pretty clutch for Miami. Um, again, we're going to take a quick break while we've got halftime. Um, again, uh, thanks for watching the 2019. Wow, 2019 National Dodgeball Championships. It has been a great game so far. Uh, we're going to see these two teams square off, and uh, hopefully we'll join uh, we'll join them and really another great half coming up. Yep. We'll we're going to take a break. Join us in a couple couple minutes. Welcome, everybody, back to the 2019 National Dodgeball Championships here at Grand Valley State. We got a great matchup um, going on right now. If you're just tuning in, um, we're playing some NCDA dodgeball. We're at halftime right now with CMU in Miami. Uh, team, two teams, strong teams going back and forth, uh, both trying to get a position in the Final Four. Here we go. We've got uh, 
Miami here on the baseline, getting ready, just getting pumped up, probably going over some strategy after their last um, their last go around. They are they're on the prowl for another point. They need a point uh, to catch up to CMU, who commands an early lead, and they really earned it. I mean, both teams have been pretty even in terms of how they've been able to back uh, back up into the neutral zone, get make some plays, and then get pushed back. Hopefully, uh, Miami's hoping to see a different result here. All right, here we go. CMU getting pumped up. I'm seeing that. That's getting me pumped up. I'm sure Jake's feeling some <laughs> some some emotion here, oh seeing yeah, his man. his alma mater get get jacked up. Trying to remain calm. All right. So yeah, we got Central up 1-0. We got tw one uh, second half. Uh, I really believe that whoever wins this point, next point's going to take it all. I really believe that. Yeah, this is what it's going to come down overtime, to. Overtime, whatever, whoever takes this next point really thinks going to have the momentum going forward. Okay, so again, we've got CMU with the lead here on our left in the maroon, the maroon and gold, and then Miami in the white and red. Again, this is a huge game for Miami, their first ever quarterfinals appearance. Looking to make their first ever final four. And a big game for Central Michigan. They've yes. got it. They've they've been what is this? This national is their fifth year, right? They're uh, trying to on their way to the trying to be in the national championship. For a fifth year in a row. Yeah. yeah. So they're they haven't won it, but they've been in they've been in contention for for four years. And they want they want number five. Maybe five number five could be the magic facing off with the reigning national champs, undefeated champs this season, uh, Grand Valley State. So if they if Central whoever wins this plays Grand Valley in the next round. So we will not have a rematch. Oh, we won't uh, have a rematch. We will not have a rematch in the National Championship. Just a very tense semifinals. Correct. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all on the line. Yep. All right, good. We see a lot of fighting over balls here. Yep. No oh, ball. what a catch. Yeah. It looks like, uh, so basically, uh, two players were fighting over the ball at center. That's a catch, and Austin awesome, awesome Briggy throwing a catch. Wow, this is huge for CM, CMU. No, huge um, for Miami. Well, to lose, sorry. Oh, I mean, yeah, huge, phrase, yeah, absolutely. This is to yeah. lose one of their, their, their best players, potentially. We're, we're seeing oh, still so now they're saying that it might not be a catch because the play, yeah. Let's see what they said. Are they just going to reset? That seems that would be really interesting if they just. So what we're seeing here is we're getting captains are, are the only people allowed to Correct. talk. Correct. Yeah, all the people allowed to talk. And if you're talk. not a captain, you keep talking, you get carded. <laughs> you get carded. And all right, so Austin Briggy stays in. That's that's a pretty lucky. Late. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> huge for CMU. Um, unfortunate for Miami. That would have been a, a big victory for. for I've Miami. never. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that, where two players both had a grip on the ball and wouldn't let go. Oh really? <laughs> Usually, because yeah, I've seen time. it. No, I've seen it where both players have have, and then they both like kind of look at each other, place the ball down, back up, and it really looked like they they tried to go after this. Wow. Oh, oh, what wow, a wow, wow, what a, this is, I don't even know who's in or out. My, uh, Tom Moran is out. Tom Moran's out. That's and a big so loss Austin for Miami. And so is Austin Briggy for Central. Wow, so both okay. teams, two best players, out. Both, that was brutal. That was wild. I don't know if that's worth it, honestly. And that, that, that ball? That blood. One ball? That, yeah, the, the. Central lost three players on that. Miami only lost one. I'm going to, I'm going to say that, uh. Catch. I'm going to say that Miami, Catch. whoa. What were they saying? Austin Briggy back in from Austin, the catch. Oh, from the catch. Okay. Huge for Miami. Sorry, huge for Central. Yep, huge for oh, Central. Oh wow, this is a quick point. So, so, again, this is a this is a big, big match for Miami. Big match for CMU. Right now, oops, still in the quarterfinals. Yep, so winner will go on to the semifinals. Winner's going to go on to the semifinals. Most likely Grand Valley. Um, Grand As Valley. As it looks, they just finished up, I believe, Grand Valley won that match. We'll get the results of that match coming in for the score. Um, most Catch likely Grand by Valley. Casey Bielek, number 10. Most likely a Grand Valley victory because yes. we haven't heard otherwise. I no, feel like that. I think people would <laughs> yeah, be screaming that. They'll be screaming. Um, but right now, so again, as we were talking before, this is a big game. So this team, these two teams will go on to face. Grand Valley? Correct. Okay, good. Grand Valley in the semifinals. Another Whoa. catch. Another great catch. Another great drop catch. Okay, so time so timeout by Central Michigan, I believe. Yes. Timeout by CMU. It was a big catch by number eighty five, uh, Scott and Berger. Timeouts seem to be I mean, they really are just so critical to the flow of this game where if 
CMU was feeling like Miami was somehow getting their bearings or Miami was feeling that C, uh, you know, CMU was going to come and advance on, on their territory in some significant way, they could just say, hey, timeout, sort of reset the momentum. Yeah. Um, Most of the time I see timeouts when it's to get ball control when there's a big throw or right. for a really important play. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of times it's to reset the tempo. But, yeah, so winner of this will move on to the semifinals, which means there's only four teams. Now, do we have an understanding for our, our – audience who wants to know when the championship is going to be. Do we have a, a rough understanding of when that's going to take place? Uh, we're hoping to take that around 435. 435 Eastern yes. Standard Time. Yes. Um, yeah, it's... So what we're going to do next, I believe, um, we're going to film each semifinals match. Oh, it's going to be great. Yep. And then we'll go to the national championship. So we've got some sort of captain official discussion going on here. I'm unclear about what what's happening, uh, what's being discussed. I know we do've got we've got number two over here, Frank. He's getting his team riled up. He's getting CMU riled up. He's been taking the <laughs> beating for his <laughs> yeah, captain he really all is. day. He's earned it. He has earned his appearance here. Um, we've seen him in the corner guarding Austin Briggy, uh, making sure they don't lose their MVP. <laughs> yeah, what I mean, three or four balls last time I think came his direction when he was guarding Austin. So. I'm curious what it is they're talking about. Yeah, I'll take any context you can get out of this. They might be telling us in a second. It's not going to be time on the clock. Doesn't seem like any throwing dispute. We still have 23 minutes left to go in this half. A lot of game left. A lot of game left for Miami. So Miami went down 2-0 on Central in their first game on Saturday. Oh. Came back and tied it 2-2. Okay, so again, this is this isn't unprecedented for Miami, and they can really. I mean, yeah. They can really come back. It's only you know we've seen actually we we saw a greater deficit. Um, in the MSU Ohio. In the MSU Ohio game, yeah, and that was that was a great game. I'm really curious what it is that they're discussing. Yeah, this is. Uh, because they're really going at it. <laughs> Austin is really making his case. He's on the f – I'm trying to read his lips here. <laughs> he's throwing it. I'm on the floor with it. I think they're saying he's out, but I, don't, I never even saw him get hit. Yeah, I did not see him get hit either. But I, I understand how this is a, a big moment for Miami to make sure that he's out. It looks like it's going not his way. Hopefully uh, – Looks like we're getting this resolved. Okay, here we go. We're going to figure out what the result is of this dispute. So our next game that we have coming up is uh, we should be having is MSU versus Towson. So Towson uh, defeated BGSU That's a on big the quarterfinals. One. That's huge. It's yeah. what ex expected. Uh, Towson is the two seed. Uh, this is their first ever Final Four appearance. I really enjoyed seeing Towson yesterday. Yes. Um, great. It just seemed like they were a great team, a lot of heart. Yes, there is. Great catch. <laughs> and team, they were actually, I think we were talking about them yesterday, that they're sort of, um, they're on the up as a team right now. Yeah, where so they that had a lot of potential. Yeah, so they, like I said, this is their first ever Final Four appearance. Right, right. And so their um, what would be exciting is if they, they were seeded two or three, two, two. Wow, two. Okay, Michigan State won. They were the three seed. MSU, uh, Grand Valley, the one seed, and uh, CMU, Towson. Miami, the four and five seed. Holding strong. Yes. All right. So we're getting the results here on on this call. I'm not quite sure what's going on. We still haven't seen who's in who's in jail from from Central Michigan. We clearly know that Miami. Miami. It looks like they only have four players left. Only have four players left. The game is going quickly. We're trying to get an understanding here from our officials. They look very confused they as well. They do look very confused. Uh, but, yeah, for the next game. It's for been quite a flurry, though. So Absolutely. I, you know. So for MSU Towson, some players to watch is Peyton Schuster, a very emotional player. We, kinda, we should get a Zion Williamson camera on him. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> always uh, got something going on. Uh, for Towson, is, uh, Jordan Watt, he's got a cannon. Uh, really a great player to watch. Uh, for both those teams. Yep. Uh, we'll have, I believe, an interview later with Michigan State's Rebecca Chappelle, um, a female that plays for Yes, her. yes. I'm looking forward to talking to Rebecca. All right, here we go. So we're getting back to the baseline. Finally, some gameplay. We're trying to see Austin is out. Is out. Okay, good. And probably out with some depth in the he jail. He came in on a catch. My you think guess that's is the they're dispute? saying that it's not a catch. That's my guess. Okay. And that's why they stopped play because they're like, whoa. Why are best you back in? Back yes. in. <laughs> So Miami down to four players already. That happened. Now, whose job does that fall on? Is that the coach of Miami to go sort of lobby the officials being like, hey, what's yes, going on yes, here? Yes, that's what did happen. Okay. So, 
Yep, but if there's a catch, Austin's the first one back in. Okay, so that's going to be pretty cl uh, critical yep, for Central's Miami not to get a catch, yes. not bring back their best, no, Central Michigan's best player. However, if Miami gets a catch, their best player comes back in, Tom Moran. So Moran. there you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. So that was CMU opening it back up, really trying to command the flow of the game. We're getting a lot of, oh. lot of direction trying. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Yeah, Juwanza so Edwards missing an easy catch. That's another big play by Miami. Now we're trying to get the team. I think officials are saying catch let's by Eric. Catch that's going to be disaster. What a catch! Uh, uh, that seems like an I, error. I don't understand why no one went in for the catch. Yep, that should have been Austin in from the catch. Another catch Central. by Eric Nelson. Okay, no one so from Central is going in for the catch. Well, we you know we got um, number twelve back on Central Michigan, who had just gone out. Juwan's Edwards. Yeah, so maybe. I don't know why that they made, they made that call. Okay, I'm not sure. so this is we're. We got one player left for Miami. We got a lot of action going on here. Miami's wow, holding their own. Point. We have a lot of time. It is unlikely that Miami is done. Can, this game's yeah, not over. This, this and he steps out. So the reason why they had him do that is to save time. time. Right. Yes. There's no point to waste time. Because there's not a good chance they're going to take we're this getting, point. We're getting a, a look from the official, maybe adjust some time on the clock. So that was a good – I mean, uh, that's a uh, – My uh, guess is is that Austin Briggy went in when he wasn't supposed to, and that's a yellow card. Got it. That is my guess is what happened. That's why he wasn't allowed to play. All right, so we're going to get 22 minutes, 14, 14 seconds. seconds back on the clock. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, they want to hey, make sure every second we're, counts. Yeah, we're keeping a tight <laughs> ship here at the NCDA. This is the officials know, uh, know that every second matters. So, again, we, we, what we saw here is that it was, I mean, I don't even know how many players. We probably had nine players here um, for uh, Central Michigan. Miami only had one. They just took a step out. They, 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 they essentially forfeited, time. yeah, forfeited the – the point um, to their opponent just to save time. Yep, and, that's it, and I believe that's a smart call. Yeah, and now they're going to have to go on the complete offensive. But that's what they did on day one. And so Is Central's okay. really got to learn. So Central actually in um, in their loss to VCU went up 2-0 and then let VCU come back to him no T. And then on day one, the same with Miami. So the, the score says 1-0, but it is 2-0. And there we go. All right, so this is a big point for Miami. If they can't get this point quick, it's going to be right. tough. I'm always curious how teams try to play more aggressively. And sometimes that can put them in risky territory, but let's see what Miami can pull off. They did it again. They did it yesterday. Yep. Um, we got a dispute going again. As, I, as love this, I love this game. There's a lot of tension right now because we just keep getting dispute <laughs> after dispute of – you That's can clearly they want to make sure everything, yeah, everything is right. Yeah, we don't want the whole rest of the year after this championship to be like, this was the call that decided everything. Kind of like it's the uh, Rams Saints game. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that'd be horrible. That's, that's the last thing we want in this league is one is, of those. Yeah, like a play dispute for an entire year. Here we go. Both running into the neutral zone. That was. You know wow. what's crazy is that when Central I, Michigan came out with a lot of those balls. Yes, they're very quick. One, one thing I've noticed that blows my mind is when I played, everyone always threw right off the bat. Yeah. A lot, if you've noticed, a lot of people are bringing it they back, back They either ball back, control. They either back it back it up or, oh. or they immediately. Oh, what a catch. All right, still, what a catch. That's going to be somebody's got to step out. And I think s hopefully someone does. It doesn't. And they're throwing a fit now. Yeah, they're throwing a fit. We'll see. I just think it's going to slide. They also wow. got a catch. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, so maybe they just cut. Yeah, correct. that's true. Yep. So this, the, the gameplay is amazing, yeah, though. The gameplay is so fast, and we're just trying our best to keep up with it. Um, we got Austin Briggy here in the center. He's going to yep. try to make a throw here. We have a, some of these player, players drop catching. We got number nine for Miami. Taking the throw. Casey Beal, number 10. For number nine, again. Uh, Ethan Euler. Catch oh, by Bryce Brown. Got it. Jared Brown, number one. Unsuspecting catch, too. He, wasn't, he was, was not, not looking. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Great reflexes. might have been a little bit of luck right yeah, there. Yeah, really. Miami really needs this Yeah, point. that was number 15, Austin Michael on Miami. Who Another tag by Casey Bielek, number 10. All right, number 44 out, Cameron Farokta. Another kill. Jared Brown with the kill, number 80, okay, Maxwell. Okay, so we've got sort of a swing here for yeah, CMU. Yeah, it looks like CMU's got the momentum right now. All right. I'm still looking at Kevin Carotis, number eight. He's got to make some plays here. We haven't really seen him. Since the first point. Yeah, since the first point, make some significant kills. 
Throwing heat though. We just saw a ball get launched at a barrier. Nice block. I think that was nice block by number, number nine. nine. Yep. Yeah, number nine. Ethan Oilers. Central still with the full yeah, roster. Really holding in Everybody there. in. 17, Tom Moran right up in front, on his knees, getting ready to catch, getting ready to throw, making plays. One thing is Miami has going for them, they do have ball control. I love these players' ability to watch peripheral ball movement, kind yeah. of roll past as they're kind of keeping their eyes up. They're able to keep track of the balls that their, their teammates are feeding them. Here we go, Kevin Crowe getting fancy with the footwork. Central right. just looking Here to get ball control. Here we go, right Austin. Austin Briggy to decide not to throw, getting back you down. Know, you'd be amazed. He doesn't throw as much as you think he would. Yeah, and just I think more of a presence. when it counts, yeah. Yes. It's, he takes advantage of the moment. That might be the key to some of these best players, is Absolutely. knowing when to take advantage of the moment. And that's with any sport. Of. Yeah, right, totally. Again, Miami really needing this point, really Here needing to go. push Here the we tempo. Go. That was number seven with a, with a fake out. Casey Caldwell, captain of Miami, one of the captains. All right, so we've got. Miami's got eight players. Yeah, Miami's Central really with, the, with all 12. Miami's really holding it down. And they kind of have to. They can't let CMU gain the momentum again. Or dictate, dictate the or, tempo. Or exactly. Um, they've got 19 minutes, 13 seconds left in the second half. They have to get a point. They have to get two points to tie it. And a kill right there. Miami down to seven. All right, so that was. I like that. Number 21 going by Tank. <laughs> but that's Jonathan Lukey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of these I guys. I can see it. I can yeah, see well, it. Yeah, well, you know, some yeah. of these guys are throwing their nicknames on the back. And it's like, I wait, saw that, yeah, Tank like, who is can't that? be his last name. That would be <laughs> awesome. Or Oil Machine. Or Oil Machine, <laughs> exactly. I think that's Ethan Euler. Kevin Carotis. Nice. Being the Kevin main Carotis, right? right? Yeah. Really putting himself out there. It has to be that team lead. All right, we got Miami advancing in here. Wow, that was catch by Miami. K nice Eric drop Nelson catch throwing by the catch. Miami. Okay, he officials are saying he got it. Nice trap in between his his legs as he dropped down, legs and arms. They're gunning for gunning for Austin, Austin Briggy as expected. Here we go. Oh, oh, out again! Wow, your boy out! Wow, what? A great call, though. I mean, he he clearly it was a little bit of honesty there, a little bit of ref's call. It I didn't think he was out. I didn't think he was out. It, it must have hit his hair. Must have hit. He got number enough 10, of a scalp. Number ten, Casey going for the catch. Here out. we go. On the back, nice, nice out. That was Cal number Cal eleven getting it out. Yep. Yeah, Henry Ferguson, one of the captains of Miami, getting All right, that out. This is looking more. I mean, yeah. Central still got the this players, but Miami's got the ball. Still a game of time, though. At this point, they need to make something happen. Ooh, nice get. That was Tom Moran. Yep. Well, he's been kind of quiet. Sniping number one over here. He's been kind of quiet, to be honest. Maybe it's just taking advantage of those right moments. Yep. All right. So we got Tom Miami Moran. with yep. six, seven. We got Central with eight. All right. We got two guys in the corner Catch over by there. Juwanza Edwards, wow, number 12. That was, that was a turn. Unless they're not. No, they're saying it hit the ground. Okay. 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 I thought it was a catch. Oh, and another kill. Now it's it even. Is. is that Griggs? Yeah, no. it's Griggs. That's or your boy. That's, oh, no, yep. maybe he's got a Rizinski. different name. Oh, we got to check that out. We got two number 20s that would make yeah. sense for the confusion. So that's not Griggs. <laughs> Sorry, anybody who's related hey, to number 20. Hey, the name fits, though. Exactly. All right, I say go, whoever, whoever gets out first between Austin Briggy and Tom Ooh, Moran. Tom, Mar going. Tom Moran holding back. Number 11, Henry Ferguson really staying up front, trying to hold down CMU. I mean, Central's Miami not commanding, commanding most of the time in the neutral zone right now. Correct. Wow. Kevin Carota's throwing right heat. Yep. Nice placement. Yep. By Great Doug placement. Daniels, number 28. And number 66, fielding that ball. Rob Hartman getting ready, advancing. Here we go. Getting on the team throw. That was safe. He kept one point of contact. <laughs> I thought it hit him. I <laughs> thought it hit him too. But they're calling it safe. All right, number 85. Say big, the big key, Miami still with ball control. All right, Miami. We've got Moreno, Parks, Carotis, Hartman. The big thing is, I mean, we've already wasted almost nine minutes now. Yeah, we still still got, uh, I mean, whew, a lot of time on the clock. But these these Miami's got to make a play. To, and he was throwing for Franks there. He's our, <laughs> I'm liking Franks. Our bodyguard. Man. Our bodyguard. And a hit by Austin Briggy yeah. at number 11 for Miami. I think we've we got to create a, a new name for uh, Franks here. It's, it's oh. He's bodyguard. Oh. oh, nice throw. 
I believe that was number seven getting the kill. Yes. Casey Caldwell, I captain for Miami. I thought number 85 was going to catch that. Yep. All right, so we're even at six apiece. Okay. Next one, I mean, they lose one player, they're down to the 10 count, so this is big. Miami's got to make this play happen. Still, Austin Briggy commanding the center center court. That was a bounce. We got Corotis Hartman on, said, the, on the wing. We still got central. We Hartman's got going to be guarding point for him. Oh! No. Tried to do All a right, drop Miami. catch. That's going to be painful for Hartman. After this throw, going to be in the 10 count. So they got a throw Kevin and then they're down to the 10 count. Hartman was was pivotal to guard Corotis there. Hartman. Oh, oh Austin Briggy. There out. it is. That was that hunt we were looking for for Kevin Corotis. He's been eyeing Austin from the start. All right, so both teams down to a 10 count. Kevin had a great and dodge in there. Tom what Moran a great the kill. throw from Tom. Here we go. Stafford. Like I said, I think whoever gets, I think yep. Miami's got this now. Austin yep. Briggy being They've out. They've got to make this play happen. Not though. many good play, not many, I'd say quality players left for Central at this point. At this point, it's hard so, to burn 14 minutes, so they've got to play this out. I mean, it's they could win this, but with Tom still being in it. Oh, they could totally eight, win this, it's yeah. Gonna it's going to be tough. They've got two big guns need a big right catch. here. Okay, here we go. We're going to get, oh, we've got Park stepping up. Number 30, Park stepping up. Look at him, confident. <laughs> Back and down. Tank, is that right? Yeah, no, this is Parks. Tanks. All right, Tom Moreno yeah. with another kill. Tom Moreno with another kill. Number 30. 14 has been, minutes left. Jake Parks has been critical to guard the neutral zone for his teammates. Oh, that should have been he, he hasn't even been throwing. He's just been been guarding keep an eye number eight, Kevin Carota. Oh, absolutely. Keep an eye on Juwan Edwards, number 12, making some big catches so far today. Let's see if he can get another one. What we're hearing in the background is the shot clock. Oh, oh almost wow. a catch on almost Tom a Moran. Tom. Okay, Tom getting the kills. That should have been a catch. Yeah, that should have been a catch, but Tom's really been, he's been. Big this point. Big. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. all right, one lap for Central. What another kill by Tom. This is, this we is got Tom, Daniels this is Tom taking Central. command of, of the team. Yep. All right, he's feeding his ball to, to Kevin Corota, seeing if, they're gonna need to get it. They're gonna need to get a kill here in the next three minutes. Have a nice ten-minute yeah. opportunity to to tie it up. Like I said, this is anyone's game right now. All right, we've got Kevin getting suited up with Tom. the ball. Here comes Tom. That that's an out. That's an that's out. That's an out. Well done. All right. Well Miami. done, Miami. Way to hold strong. I mean, that's 13 minutes into, or uh, sorry, uh, 15 minutes into the second half. 12 minutes into 12 the second minutes. half. <laughs> I was Math. like, wait a second. I know. <laughs> 12 minutes into the second half. All Miami right. gets a gets a point. Like I said, big and they're on the road to tying it up. Yeah, I mean, big thing was Austin Briggy getting out for Central. Yeah, I think you were exactly right. Whether it was Austin or Tom getting out, I think that was sort of the tilt moment for CMU is yes. losing Austin. Tom really stepping up after that. I, mean, I think he got four kills after that, four yes, tags. he did. Um, I mean, there's no longer that presence in the middle. I mean, this is a big point right here. I mean, if Central can slow it down, but I have a weird feeling Miami's going to tie it up. We're going to yeah, go to overtime. It's a lot of momentum. And I know it's, it's you know, it's hard for you to say that, I know, but I think that's just, that's, <laughs> that's the it's honest uh, feeling right I'm now trying. of seeing these teams. I'm yeah. trying to be unbiased. Yeah. So, again, these two teams are facing off to face Grand Valley. The national, national reigning champ. Yep. Grand Valley. Six times. Uh, I said Grand Valley has yet to lose this year. They were taken to overtime yesterday by Ohio University, but still got the win. So, uh, but yeah, in our next game. we saw Ohio lose to Michigan, earlier Michigan State. Yes, we did. That was a great match, yeah, it though. Great it really matchup. was. It was great to see Ohio really competing at a high level. Um, I'd say for Grand Valley, though, in their next matchup, the person to really watch is uh, Brandon Measle. Yep. Uh, just a really great player. This is his senior year. I expect him to be the MVP. Okay, anybody just tuning in, you're tuning into the 2019 National Dodgeball Champi uh, Collegiate Championships. We've got Central Michigan facing off against Miami. Wow, you're coming into a good game. Yep, so 13 minutes left. 13 minutes left in the second half. Central up 2-1. to one. I feel like this is going to go down the wire. Yeah, this, this is, I think you're exactly right. Miami's really feeling the, feeling the momentum here. Let's see if CMU regrouped. What we know about these teams so far is there's going to be a lot of action in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I think whoever gets ball control here is really going to take this point. Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Both teams are ready to go. Oof. CMU really, uh, again, has the speed here. They seem to come away with the balls right away. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, teams running in, getting ball control. CMU getting ball control. And yeah, and... 
what I love here is seeing some of these guys' strategies. You have to box out the other ball. So <laughs> you may not, you don't want the, your, even your other player to get a hand on it because most likely you'll have to both sort of relinquish catch. the ball. Wow, that's a Miami, big catch. Big catch. Big catch for Miami. Yeah. Big Whoa, start. yeah, we've seen Hartman, <laughs> 66, getting pumped he's up. He's getting wild. He's getting, yeah, he's getting really <laughs> pumped up right now. That was a big get. We're seeing three players right off the bat. No, those are two, just two, two, two subs, so I believe. Two subs, okay. Yep, so just one player One right player. Now. We got a nice bounce there. All right, here we go. Central Michigan stepping up into the neutral zone. Taking over. Austin Briggs has got to stay Here we in. go, yep. Here we go, they're giving it back up. Briggy staying, captain of Central Michigan staying center, center, center court. Yep. Here we go. I think Tom's gonna throw here. Tom, nope. clearly, oh, got him. wow, Tom, such a And a, a catch by Miami. And a catch by Miami. Yeah, Miami's got the momentum. Miami's got 100%. the momentum. They've gotten two catches without even getting anybody out yet, so. Yep. I'm loving. I'm loving seeing. I mean, Tom clearly knows when to strike. And and this catch oh, by CMU. Catch, that looks. Like he's calling it a trap. It's not out. That's not out. He's safe. That was a trap ball. They're saying safe. Wow. Yeah. It looks like they're gonna stop the time here. So if they saying reset nothing. it, yeah, if they reset, they we no might get. no out, no catch. If they reset, we might get 10 seconds back. Maybe not. It might just be fair gameplay. That would have been a heck of a catch, though. That would have been a heck of a Man. catch, but. Yeah, it would have been pretty critical for Central Michigan to. So Miami at 12, Central at 9. All right, Miami getting really pumped up. Wow. They really are. The yeah, right <laughs> they're feeling it on the baseline right Plenty now. Plenty of time left, 11 minutes. Plenty of time. Wow, both teams advance loosely into the neutral zone. We're giving, looks like Miami's letting Central Michigan take over here in the neutral zone. We're hearing the shot clock in the background as Central Michigan has to throw a ball into the field of play. All right, Whoa. Central with the ball control right now. Ball control, looks like 17 Nelson hangs on here. Okay, so we've got Central Michigan st standing off against, against Miami. Here we go. Again, we're waiting to see some of our bigger, our bigger arms here. We've got Kevin Kurotis in the, in the corner, Tom Moran somewhere in there. Hartman was getting pretty pumped up earlier. Oh, oh. there's an out by Eric Nelson. Parks almost getting that catch. Yep, that's a tough spot though. Upper right shoulder, that's a tough catch to make. Yeah, I think CMU needed that, Bab. Yeah, they that was that was a, <laughs> they needed at least one on the board for this one. They got all the balls right now, which is big. Oh, catch oh, CMU. Catch. In and oh, okay. out, number 15 right now. Oh, wow, okay. All right, so we're squared up, 10-10. So that was number, number 15, Austin Michael, throwing a catch, one of the captains. He's not played a great game. Yeah, that's that was, that was a tough get. So again, standing off. All oh, right, Eric Nelson think, with another yeah, kill. Yeah, Eric 17. Nelson with a kill, number 21, Jonathan Lukey. Probably and Tom Moran hit out oh, by Tom Austin Moran. Briggy. That's and number another kill, 14. Okay, Central is, just pouring it on. This is turning here. This is. Let's see. We got Miami down to seven. Yeah, this is this is a big deal because Central losing one of their MVPs that's going to sort of change the mindset of the game. We but still have Kevin in there who's been pretty clutch on being a cannon. Same with number 11 for Miami. Yep, same with number 11. Number nine, too, Oil Machine, <laughs> Ethan, o <laughs> Ethan Oiler. Is that, is that his name, Ethan Oiler? That Ethan Oiler, yeah, that's Oil, Machine. Oil Machine. I was like, well, I didn't get it at first. <laughs> um, Central wow, great still with, jumps. Yeah, still with ball control for Central, which is huge. Great height on uh, number 10 for Miami. Great jumping to dodge those balls. Eric Nelson looking to get some more kills. Wow, I really thought Miami had that momentum for a I'm long time. I'm sorry, that was time. that was 80, Andrew Maxwell. Um, yeah, no, they really did have that that momentum. Let's see what Central does here. Looking for a team throw is my guess, or just a burn. Now, is it just me, or does it really feel like? I mean, this is like a standoff. I mean, they, these two teams haven't really felt like. I haven't seen this sort of gameplay in a little bit. Wow, that was a big get by number 11. Yeah, it was a huge great hit. get by Henry Ferguson. I mean, a lot of the time, I mean, you know, okay. Central, they're just trying to burn the ball to waste yeah. the time. This seems like Miami can breathe a little bit. They're going. We're, we're getting some team throw action right here, potentially. Okay, good. 
Whoa. They gotta be careful, he can Whoa, catch. Oh yeah. Oh good, we've got Maxwell and Karotis over here organizing some sort of effort. Oh! oh. That was close. Everyone, everyone, said, in, the everyone <laughs> in the stadium that said been a the face same shot. We still thing. haven't seen a headshot Yeah, yet. we still haven't seen a headshot, and that would have been brutal. That would have been a cross. Oh. Oh. Yo, oh, Karotis out. Wow, Karotis. Nice hit by Eric Nelson Eric again. Eric Nelson coming in and splitting the two to get Karotis. Wow, okay, so momentum. Oh, he fell out. No, he kept. I think yeah, it he looked like yeah, he kept him the out. Eight. He fell out. Oh, I don't. All right, hey, I'm more. not going to argue with that, but. One more throw. Okay, Miami down to the 10 count. Here we go. Right. CMU advancing into the neutral zone, trying to get maybe a team throw going. Oh. Whoa, almost stretched for that catch. Risky. Yeah, that was risky. Was this shot clock violation? No, timeout. Oh, uh, it's. No, not a shot clock. So looks like one of the teams might have taken a timeout or officials are talking about some sort of decision. Yeah, this is definitely a timeout. Yep. <coughs> uh, so, yeah, so, again, winner of this goes on to the semifinals. I'm uh, excited for that Grand Valley game. This is this – is, we're one of these teams to really upset the entire tournament <laughs> and knock out Grand Valley. It's going to be a tough task. Uh, and if it's Central Michigan, that would you got to know Jake is going to be feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to be on here. I'll be a little too. <laughs> gonna be too amped. <laughs> be too. That's maybe maybe we need that raw emotion though. That's where that's where the magic happens. We still got 66 going out of control right now. Pretty pumped up. I mean, yeah, the big thing for Miami, they didn't get a catch here. They'll bring him back up to six. But I mean, Austin still being in for CMU. Austin Briggy in most of their core. I mean, I think they have one, two players out. They really do have a huge advantage right now. So I actually think most of the. The games are done on the periphery courts. Correct. And so we've got all of our teams watching this uh, matchup yep. on the road to the semifinals. We've this got was our only close game of the semifinals. Okay. Of so the, the quarterfinals. Of the quarterfinals, yes. right. So then this it's is a big as one. As many expected, this, this is was, what this we're doing. Yeah. Yep. So we've got Miami here who's got a little bit of a player deficit. Holding holding some of the ball is going to try to advance into the neutral zone actually take out again Austin Briggy knew that was close yeah <laughs> all right so we got Miami. But what we would love to see honestly is we need a catch from Miami I they think a do. catch would bring in you'd think it might bring in you Tom. can see they're Tom's reaching out too. for a little bit right Tom I don't think it's the first one He's in. not the, is this is parks the parks the tank parks would be the parks yeah I mean CMU doesn't have to rush time's on their side they yeah. really don't all right, here we go. We're getting shot clock And count. number 11, a, Ferguson, it's out. It's the painful stretches where they think they can make that call it's and always. get that catch. And they want that reward, but they just they overestimate, I think, or underestimate maybe the power of the throw. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got 66 making a throw. That's not going to count. That is not nope. going to count. Um, here we go. They have to make a – Ball's over. Ball's over. That is yep. killer for Miami. Yep. So what we saw there is Hartman tried to make a throw to count within the shot clock. It actually ended up not being in the field of play for one of the, the players, and it didn't count. Hartman kind of disappointed after that. He's kind of frustrated. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would I I'd would, say a little yeah, more than frustrated. Yeah, he's, he's, he's ready pacing, to go. Yeah, he's pacing back and forth. <laughs> Hopefully we're seeing some of that action on the screen. <laughs> and uh, so really, All right, yeah, so now we're coming in here. here so They're probably gonna what, the, what just happened was a shot clock violation, which meant Miami had to relinquish all of the balls to CMU, oh my gosh, to CMU. The Your result boy, was, yeah, out. oil machine out from that. Number nine on Miami. Timeout Miami. So what they're doing in this case, hey, give us a chance to talk and get all the balls that we're throwing at us. But we still lost, we still lost Ethan Euler. Yep. Ooh, and he's not happy. Yeah, Ethan's not happy. Going to go collect himself in the back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, this is really <laughs> a lot of it's kind of yeah. up. I mean, it's kind of, oh. unless they can make some big plays, it's kind of over for Miami. Yeah, I mean, we've, again, and we haven't we haven't called the time in a little bit, but it is six minutes, 30 seconds left in the second half. This oh, is pretty they're critical. Saying, they're saying oil machine's still in. Wow, because they called the timeout? I believe so, but balls Ooh. are live, so I'm not entirely sure. They must sure. have called it on the advance. I mean. Yeah, but they, okay. Maybe I mean, they that's, did. I mean, maybe they did. I'd, we have to go with the officials here. I guess so. so. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Ethan, Ethan Oiler. I thought he was out because the I balls were live. But he thought he was out. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely thought he <laughs> yes. was out. Um, we still got four guys in here. I'm surprised, though, that they I get to keep balls now. So I don't know how. I don't understand because those yeah, balls over. Yeah, I'm very balls. confused as well. But anyway, Ethan gets to keep a ball. 
We've got number seven, Miami, also. Um, I think that's Casey Caldwell. Yep, captain Mi one of the captains of Miami. Also Big gets catcher. to keep a ball. Great catcher. Looks like he's going to be oh, Hartman. Oh, 66. Okay, Ray. Hartman, really. Oh. Yeah, I, I <laughs> love his passion. He is feeling it. Oh, man. Well, hopefully he can keep calm. Okay, here we go. Hartman really feeling it. Euler coming in. Okay, he's going to backpedal. We've got two team throws going. Actually missed. Every, all of them missed Ethan. Number nine coming here, trying to make a good play on the – okay, going to backpedal. Number 99 clearly feeding Ethan, but he's saying, hey, keep, keep the ball, use it to block. All right, so we got CMU advancing here, going to try to make a play on these guys. Miami has – they can't they just – They've got to make a play. Yeah, they, they can't, can't keep just the They can't yeah. keep just trying to burn it. They've got to make plays. Central can keep burning. They got nothing. They have they have no I mean, reason to rush. I want to see a Miami catch here. I think bring in Parks. Parks is actually such a great presence to have on the on the court. Um, whenever we see him in, he's commanding. He's commanding center court, guarding sort of his players. And he Ooh, got number seven number out, seven captain. Out. That's going to be that's Casey Caldwell. That's all right. That's 66. Big. 66. There we go. Oh, and he oh, stepped he out. Just stepped he out. stepped out. I don't know if they caught it. He's. They didn't I don't know catch if they, it. They didn't catch it. Wow. It didn't matter. He's out. Okay, he's out. <laughs> he knew he stepped wow, out. Wow, <laughs> that was. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. All okay, right, I think that's so a game from Miami. Yeah, so, you know, we might <laughs> maybe. See we know, yeah. We well, see a Minneapolis miracle. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got uh, five minutes left in the second half. Central with just got the balls over from Miami. Yep. So Two players left. CMU Miami game. Anybody who's just tuning in, you're watching the 2019 National Dodgeball Tournament here at Grand Valley State. We've got a great game going between Central Michigan and Miami. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Here we go. On the road to the semifinals to face the Grand national reigning champ. Reigning champ, Grand Valley State. It would be a fifth-time matchup for Central. Man, for and I know. You, I know. You're feeling it. Here's <laughs> alma mater for you. And yeah, he's out. Oil it. machine's okay, out. So we oil machine's out. 99 left. That's Ethan Euler tapping out. Number 99 here. He's got to make a big play. He's, he's got to make a, a big play. Matthew Alfiero. I love that last. And oh, that's okay. safe. He's, he's safe. still in. I mean, okay, this is it. making big plays here. He's got to he's got to get a catch. He's got to bring in some more teams. As soon as he throws, they're going to th Yep. Yep. So that's going to be the game for them. As soon as he throws, someone's going to try to counter him. Yep, counter with a hit. Let's see what happens here. He's got it. He's got to throw within the shot clock. He does not want to lose all his balls. Oh, oh he's, still in. He's, and he's out. They're calling him out. Yeah, they That's just the got him on that. That's going to be the game, y'all. Another C four minutes. CMU up three to one. Uh, I mean, in this case, do you think they'll keep playing? They might as well. They, I mean, yeah, they yeah. will. Central will not try, though. Right, they want right. to save their arms. Yeah. Uh, I imagine Miami may try. It's up to them. I believe our rule is once it's under four minutes that we just keep, we it's automatically over. Oh, okay. But since it's four minutes, it's 21 four minutes, seconds. Minutes, yeah. We shall see. I will say I'm very happy for my, my uh, chips. Who do you want to talk to? Who would you want to talk to down on center court? Yeah. I think Austin Briggy, man. I mean, awesome. he really okay. carried his team. I also think uh, Eric Nelson, number 17, really had a great game as well. Yeah, Austin's been a pretty – I mean, he's, he's the critical player here. You lose him, you lose sort of your flow I mean, the on one the, the one point he got out, That's true. they lost. They immediately lost, yep. yep. Um, immediate's a little a little dramatic. They, they, they <laughs> held their own and then, and then eventually lost. Um, okay, yeah, so then coming up here after the game, depending on who wins, I'm leaning towards CMU, given that their lead is 3-1 with 4 minutes, 21 seconds left in the second half. We'll go talk to Austin. We'll go see how the team flow went. Sounds great. I think that's a great choice. As you can see, Austin's probably sitting himself out now. Oh, no, he's staying in. Staying Good for in. him. Yep. Yeah. Lead his team. Uh, Got to give it to Miami, though. It's the furthest they've ever made it uh, in the tournament. I mean, quarterfinals before that I mean they could barely feel the roster two years ago. yep so yep. it's really great testament to these guys um, you're starting to see some of them get Tom Moran consoling with his captains uh, tough loss but they should definitely yep. be proud of what they've done they had a good run and they I mean they really that earning that their, their point here in, in this match is was pretty impressive Tom Moran being a key a key component of that point yes got, I mean again I would love to see we'll eventually get the stats here on that on, on his kills but he might have gotten four um, at least in and that roughly third point? Yeah, three minutes he got like four kills, which really turned the third point. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Miami here at the baseline. Looking CMU pretty Walton. defeated. Yeah, looking pretty defeated. Uh, we'll see how the, the gameplay goes here. Um, it's hard to think that 
CMU is going to play with as much heart. Nope. Yeah, it didn't really seem like it. And it didn't really seem like it on this. They didn't really run that hard on it. Um, as they should, they want to rest up for the next yeah, game. Yeah, they want to rest up because they are going to be playing. I imagine our next game will be MSU versus Towson. Um, like again, that's going to be a great matchup. Yeah, that, I love that is the one team that Towson teams said they don't yeah. want to play. Is you know, MSU. I loved, I loved MSU Towson. I saw them play yesterday. We saw MSU earlier. Um, no, this is this is pretty fantastic. Uh, I mean, what would we see from from Miami? Catch Austin okay, Briggy. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. Yep. Hey, double tap. Yep. 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 <laughs> He's out. <laughs> Everyone's still going for. They want. They want the the Briggy kill. Just I think for satisfaction. Yeah. Just for satisfaction. Hey, hey look what I did. Oh, yeah. uh, what were you saying though? Oh, just that these teams. Um, I mean, I, I love MSU. Um, I was watching them obviously play earlier, and then Towson just plays with so much heart as well. This is going to be a great matchup. We're going to actually catch both semifinals, so we're going to air both of those on this center court, and then leading up to the national championship. National championship. So Grand Valley is going to play in the second semifinals. Yep. So for once again, I believe for the last like five, six years, three of the four s final four teams are from Michigan. Okay. That's how it's been. I mean, Michigan dominates the field. They do. Yeah. Um, but that is. Uh, I think that's what most people were expecting, and um, yeah, I believe it was three years ago that it was all four Michigan teams were in the final. Oh wow! Four. Yeah, people were not happy <laughs> outside the state of Michigan. Yeah. I love seeing who's staying though. I mean, this is this is. What's I mean, cool yeah, we got see. a great. Yeah, we got still Maryland's hanging out. Yeah, I mean, it's really great to see. They got a ten-hour yeah, drive. Yeah, they do. They've got a long drive ahead of them, but I think you know maybe they'll stick it out, see the see the national championship or they'll just In catch hit. it live here on the stream with everyone else you got about two minutes and 30 seconds left to go everyone uh, playing pretty conservatively pretty conservatively yeah. i think miami looking pretty defeated central knowing yeah a lot of hands on the hips over here with miami oh so. austin briggy's still going for it still coach Ke coach riley not happy telling him stop <laughs> <It's> <laughs> save like, your arm yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to yell at too myself, <laughs> but I'm not on the court. Yeah, and you're you're oh yeah. I mean, yeah. This is this is uh, balls over. Miami's done. They yeah. look defeated. They look I'd be surprised. Motions are starting know. to show. That's a lot of hanging arms. That's kind of the <laughs> hands on the hip. Hands on the hips. Yeah. Yeah, we don't see six. I don't think sixty six is out there. I don't think he's <laughs> in the right mindset to be out here right now. Yeah, that's uh, Hartman, uh, one of the more passionate players on, <laughs> we know we've on seen. Miami. Yeah, <laughs> which I love. This is this is him showing, giving it all, taking, very literally taking a knee on the court. <laughs> what's what's really exciting though is Central. Uh, I think most people are happy Central Grand Valley aren't seeing each other in the championship for a fifth straight year. Right, right. But they will be seeing each other in the semifinals. So this will this will change it up. I mean, we've seen it again. They have a great fifth rivalry. Year. Yeah, great, great rivalry. rivalry. Which means we get some great dodgeball Absolutely. in the semifinals. So, so Central and Grand Valley in their last oh, game. Central see it. Uh, Grand Valley won two to one against Central, so it was okay. a close game. We're on our way to the semifinals. On our way to the semifinals. Here we go, Miami, just Looking, throwing it in. I really, yeah, yeah we got a minute and twelve seconds left. Him. Yeah, I, I feel like they're being they made didn't to say just roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made to play. <laughs> made to play, and you know, but I'm sure they they want to. Uh, if anything, they're helping the next team, trying to wear out these these arms here. So. I don't think anyone wants to help out Grand Valley. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I mean, or Central Michigan. I yeah. mean, that's, yeah, that's. Oh, that's a good point. Another yeah, yeah. team, hey, so, yeah, we don't want exactly. these guys to do yeah, well. Yeah, so. I mean, De Grand Valley, Central. Oh, I see what you're saying, though, yes. that they want, they, you guys might I mean, want them to be fresh. it's the lesser of two evils. Right, you want Central Michigan to be fresh for their face-off against However, at the same time, you're like, Valley. we don't want another team that's very successful to do well. Yep, 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 yep. All right, 34 seconds here in the second half. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna send uh, Jake down to do an interview with uh, with Austin Briggy. We'll uh, we'll recap for everybody here uh, after the after the end of gameplay. Really, everybody's just. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to say mailing it in here, but it's it's pretty passive. Oh, Another well, we got some kills there. Ten so, seconds. Yeah, ten seconds here. And for a lot of these guys on Miami, it's their last hurrah, Whoa. so it's pretty tough. We'll get Jake here. Send him down to court. Talk to Austin about the game. All right, everybody. Thanks for thanks for watching the thanks for watching the Central Michigan game versus Miami. This is a big game for Central Michigan. They needed um, this. They needed this. They really did. Um, we 
I mean, we're going to see Grand, uh, sort of Central Michigan take on Grand Valley. Um, We've got MSU Towson first. And MSU Towson first, yep. yep. Which is going to be a fantastic game. Excellent. I mean well, we're going to send Jake down to the court. Uh, we'll, we'll get some replays going here in a second. Such a great matchup, honestly. I mean, I loved, I loved watching the heart here, Miami playing. So it looks like we're going to have Central Michigan versus Grand Valley um, in our second semifinal play. What we're seeing here, oof, great team catch here from Central Michigan. Hartman, always Giant Dad. I didn't know that was his, his, uh, his nickname. Oh, great catch. Yeah, great catch. I believe that was for the first point. Um, we've got Miami here, another standoff. Ooh, great kill. Great kill by Maxwell. Um, ooh, God, I, I love a good team catch. Um, again, nothing happens except they get an extra player. Tom Moran really holding his own. Ooh, great. That was a disputed call in the beginning, actually. Um, here we go. Man. Miami really holding their own. We got backpedal here. Hartman staying alive. That was that was really impassioned. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> such great gameplay from these two from these two teams. We've got we've got such such passionate play from Miami here to try to hold their own against Central Michigan. Coming up again, we're going to throw to Jake down downstairs with the interview. Um, I think actually Jake's Jake's being replaced by Felix, uh, the president of the NCDA. Um, we're going to throw to them in a couple seconds. Such a great such great gameplay. Upcoming up in the semifinals, we've got Central Michigan versus Grand Valley, and then Towson versus MSU. Coming to you right now. Here's Felix for you. Hey, I'm Felix Peroni, president of the NCAA. I'm here with uh, Central Michigan. They just defeated Miami of Ohio. Um, how was that game for you guys? Uh, we played really well as a team, and it pretty much went to our game plan, and we knew their weaknesses, we knew their strengths, and we avoided their strengths and exploited their weaknesses. Excellent, great. Um, what are you guys going to do next against Grand Valley? It's a big matchup. It is the uh, a rematch of the last five NCAA national championship matches. So what do you guys think you're going to do? Well, Grand Valley is our biggest rivalry. They beat us every year in nationals. I'm a senior this year. I think I've about had enough. Um, the momentum we had against Miami, all we got to do is carry it into our next game. We're ready, and we got to play as a team, and they execute it exactly how we did against Miami. Excellent. Great. All right, and then what is the, the thing you've really enjoyed most about this nationals event? Yeah, the thing that we enjoy most is just meeting new people. Uh, this was the first opportunity I got to meet Tom Moran. He's a great guy. Uh, without this opportunity of NCDA, I would have never uh, gotten the chance to meet all these guys from all these teams from across the nation. So it's just uh, it's an enjoyment playing against uh, a bunch of different people from a, a bunch of different places. All right, excellent. Thank you guys very much. Good luck in your next game. Thank you. Uh, and great job already this tournament. Thank you. Thanks. So it looks like we're actually going to now have a presentation um, for you know, coming up in a little bit for some of our older alumni. The, and then we're going to take a quick break. Um, we'll have the presentation. We'll be right back. And then we'll join us up here for the booth. 